Hey, how's it going? I'm Will and I'm part of the 99 Bikes green team for 2022. Over the last couple of years, I have been a bit lazy. I've been driving into work way too often, and that's why I thought I really needed to get into gear once again and start cycling into work. And that's where this beautiful little bike came in, the Merida eBig 9 300SE, which I received as part of the green team for 2022 with 99 bikes. And this thing makes a cycle commute so easy. I mean, I get to cycle along the river to go to work, which is absolutely beautiful, so much better than driving on the road, being stuck in traffic, looking at the car in front of me and just wishing I wasn't there. Whereas cycling into work makes it so much nicer. It's so much more relaxed. You get uh, an energy boost coming into work in the morning and cycling home from work at night. It's just so good. It's a release uh, and it just, cycling along the river especially. And another awesome thing about the Merida eBig 9 300SE is that it is an e-bike, which means it's an electronic bike. It has assistance for helping you cycle. You don't have to put it on if you don't want to. And sometimes I leave it off because I want the challenge. But then there's other days where I feel just a bit too tired or sluggish or I'm sore from the workout the day before or something like that. And that is where the battery comes in awesomely and really helps just give you that little boost to get you out of bed and away from the car to cycle into work. The other essentials for cycling into work, for me, I've got my backpack. This is a backpack which is waterproof. Well, it's water resistant, but it has a waterproof pouch at the bottom which I can take out a little sort of rain jacket for the, uh, for the bag because I also quite often carry electronics and clothes with me. So I might carry my laptop. So my bag needs to be big enough to carry a laptop and some clothes for me to change into at my destination and potentially at when I'm cycling home or if I'm cycling somewhere else, another set of clothes. I also need to have room for a towel, maybe a lock or something like that. Uh, at my workplace, I do actually keep a lock there so I can, I don't need to carry a lock with me into work, which is great but I quite often carry a separate second lock with me if I'm going somewhere else. Another essential for me is these, these glasses. And you can see they are a clear lens. That is because you really wanna have glasses when you're cycling. Otherwise you get stuff in your eyes or the wind gets in your eyes, especially if you're going downhill, going a little bit faster, something like that. And these just prevent stuff from getting into your eyes. You wouldn't believe how many bugs I cycle through, especially in the evening while I'm cycling, al cycling alongside the river. And they're clear lenses because while regular sunglasses might be great for daytime, not so good for evening. So if I'm cycling at night, then I definitely want clear lenses. And you might as well just wear them during the day as well. These ones particularly do actually have a UV filter in them. So when I'm cycling during the day, this does actually remove some of that UV glare that's coming into my eyes, as well as protecting me and from the wind and rain and anything else, bugs, all sorts of stuff that might get into my eyes while I'm cycling. What else, what else? Uh, other essentials for me are my Garmin. So I have the Forerunner 935, which I've had for a few years now. This thing is amazing. It tracks everything I do. Um, I do actually have a clip, so it clips into my bike via a little clip, which goes in the top there. But I can also, and I'll just position you here, I can also clip it onto my watch. So if I want to go for a run, or I want it to be a watch, I can do that. And when I want to get on my bike, just clip it straight on to the bike. It is awesome. And I know they've come out with newer watches since. There's a Garmin 945 and probably more, more recent than that. But this one, the 935, that whole range is spectacular. It's very light, excellent for things like triathlon especially. I've worn this through several triathlons, through uh, full Ironman, half Ironmans, sprint triathlons, all sorts of things. It is great. 
and thoroughly, thoroughly recommend you looking into getting some sort of fitness watch. And they've got the smaller ranges as well, so you can have a look at the ones which are for running specific or maybe cycling specific. I like the multi-sport ones because I don't necessarily want to stick to one sport. Maybe this year might be my year for cycling. Maybe next year I'll get back into running a bit more. Uh, the other year I was into triathlon. So it allowed me to mix it up and track all three sports and more other sports. You can even select doing weightlifting on that thing and it will do a decent job. It's not gonna be perfect, but it is definitely recommended for triathlon. The Garmin series of watches, I cannot recommend them enough definitely have a look into getting a Garmin if you want to track your run, ride, swim, or anything else. Other essentials, of course, is a light. So you need a front-facing light, preferably something like this, which is nice and bright. Also a rear-facing light, so something like this. Uh, these are also quick removable. Take it out, charge it when you need to charge it, and then when you're jumping back on your bike in the evening or whatever, put it back on, make sure that people can see it and so that you can be seen. And there's sort of two classifications of lighting that you can do. So there's the C and B scene. If your light is in a static light up, so it's just a solid light, like what your front light might do, that's called a C light. It's for you to be able to see out. Whereas if your light is flashing, especially like rear lights, um, that is your B scene light. So you want to have on your rear, definitely have a B scene light. So your rear light should usually be flashing. Your front light, you can have one or both. You could have a C light and a B scene light, maybe one on the left, one on the right. So that way people who are in front of you can see you because you're flashing at them. It's if something is a static light, it's harder to sort of notice, but if it's flashing, it's easier to notice. So on the front, if you really want to be safety conscious, have both. Have a light where you can see what you're doing and so others can see you. Or a lot of lights have a mode where it's kind of solid and then flash, 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 solid, flash, flash, flash. That's an excellent mode if you want to only have one light on the front, because that way it has sort of the best of both worlds. It has a C section and a B scene section. So you can see the path ahead of you and others can see you. And finally, you wouldn't be cycling without one of these handy dandy helmets. They are absolutely essential. I don't care if you're cycling on the path or if you're cycling on grass or whatever, having one of these is very essential. I, many years ago, back, oh, what about nine years ago, I was actually cycling into work one day and I had a crash. I crashed into a car. It was my fault, yes, but the thing which saved me was my helmet. Not this one, obviously. I've had a few new helmets since then, but I head-butted face first into the rear windshield of that car, made a decent hole in the rear windshield and cut a lot of my face up, which plastic surgeons did a great job at sewing me back together. But the main thing which saved me from having any sort of lasting head injuries or brain injuries or anything like that was a good helmet. So wear your helmet every single time. And with that about does it for me this week. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Cheerio.